Hello everyone. This module also will be introducing another application of integration, which is solving the volume of a solid of revolution. In this particular unit, the circular disk method will be illustrated to solve the volume of a solid of revolution. What is a solid of revolution? A solid of revolution is a figure formed from the rotation of a plane or a plane curve around a straight line known as the axis of revolution that is found on the same plane. Let us consider the x-axis, the y-axis, and the z-axis. If we will draw a rectangular plane A, B, C, D, and we let this plane revolve or rotate around the x-axis, we will be forming a solid. And this solid is a disk. And this disk is known as a solid of revolution. The x-axis where the plane had revolved is called the axis of revolution. If an area that is bounded by the curve y is equal to the function of x, the x-axis and the y-axis, in other words, the area is found in the first quadrant. If we want to revolve or rotate the first quadrant area about the x-axis, we can form a solid of revolution. To solve the volume of the solid of revolution, we can introduce a vertical rectangular element whose width is dx and whose length is y. If we will analyze the vertical rectangular element independently, we also wanted to revolve it or rotate it also around the x-axis. Once this element revolved, a disk is formed. The thickness of the disk will still be dx and its radius is equal to to y. To solve for the volume of the disk is a differential volume equivalent to pi times the square of the radius, the radius is y, multiply it by the thickness or the height of the disk which is dx. Integrating, we get the volume v is equal to pi times the integral of y expressed as a function of x. So that will be the integral of the square of the function of x times dx. If we will consider the first point of intersection from the figure, a, b. a is the x-coordinate and this is the lower limit of the integral. If we will consider the second point of intersection, which is a prime, b prime, a prime is the x coordinate and it is the upper limit of the integral. Remember that a circular disk is formed if the element is perpendicular and at the same time it touches the axis of revolution. This method of solving the volume of a solid of revolution is called the circular disk method. Let us solve the volume generated by revolving the first quadrant area that is bounded by the parabola 
y squared is equal to 4ax, the x-axis, and the line x is equal to a. So if uh, we are to plot the parabola, y squared is equal to 4ax, and the line x is equal to a, the vertex of the parabola happen to be the origin, and the point of intersection of the line x is equal to a, and the x-axis is at a0. The point of intersection of the line x is equal to a, and the parabola y squared is equal to 4ax is at a and 2a. The area in the first quadrant that is bounded by this parabola, the line, and the x-axis, once we revolve this about the x-axis, will be forming a solid of revolution. We can solve for the volume of the solid of revolution by introducing a rectangular element that is vertical with a width equivalent to the x and the radius is y. Let us consider the first quadrant area. If this first quadrant area is rotated or revolved about the x-axis, we will be forming this solid of revolution. Together with the rectangular vertical element, once revolved about the x-axis, also forms a solid of revolution. The area, once revolved about the x-axis, forms the solid of revolution, while the element, a rectangular element, once revolved about the x-axis, also forms a solid of revolution that is a circular disk. The circular disk form from the revolution of the element still has a width of the x but with a radius equivalent to y. Solving the volume of the circular disk is the differential volume which is equivalent to pi times the square of the radius and the radius is y times the thickness, where the thickness of the circular disk is dx. From the differential equation formed, if we integrate both sides, we get the volume v is equal to pi times the integral of y squared dx. Going back to the figure that we had sketched, the lower limit is equal to zero taken from the x-coordinate from the origin. The upper limit is a taken from the x-coordinate of the point of intersection of the line x is equal to a and the x-axis. y squared is equal to 4ax. Substituting the value for ax gives the volume to be equivalent to pi times the integral from 0 to a of 4ax dx. Integrating, we get v is equal to 4 pi a squared with limits from 0 to a. Evaluating further gives a final answer equivalent to to 2 pi a cube cubic units. Let us solve the volume generated by revolving about the line x is equal to a, the first quadrant area bounded by the parabola y squared is equal to 4ax, the x-axis, and the line x is equal to a. Drawing the x and the y axis with the parabola y squared is equal to 4ax and the line x is equal to a. The point of intersection and the vertex of the parabola is at the origin. 
the point of intersection of x is equal to a and the x-axis is at a0. The point of intersection of the line x is equal to a and the parabola y squared is equal to 4ax is at a and 2a. The area bounded by the parabola, the line, and the x-axis will be revolved about the x is equal to a. We can solve this by introducing a horizontal element whose thickness is dy with the x r as the x on the right side of the element and xl is the x on the left side of the horizontal element. Considering the first quadrant area, which we wanted to revolve about the line x is equal to a, we'll be producing this solid of revolution. Considering the horizontal element, the horizontal element once revolved about the x is equal to a, is also a solid of revolution whose radius is the difference of xr and xl still with the thickness of the differential of y or dy remember that if our element is perpendicular and at the same time touches the axis of revolution this is a circular disk to solve the volume of the circular disk is the differential volume, which is equal to pi times the square of the radius, multiply it by dy. Remember that the radius is the difference of xr and xl. From the sketch that we had, xr will be taken from the line x is equal to a. So xr is equal to a. xl can be taken from the parabola y squared is equal to 4ax. So xl is equal to y squared all over 4a integrating at the same time expanding the integrand gives v is equal to pi times the integral of the quantity a squared minus y squared over 2 plus y raised to 4 over 16 a squared times dy the lower limit of the integrand can be taken from the y coordinate of the intersection of the line x is equal to a and the x axis, which is equal to zero. The upper limit will be taken from the y coordinate of the point of intersection of the line x is equal to a and the parabola y squared is equal to 4ax, which is 2a. Evaluating the integral will give v is equal to pi times the quantity a squared y minus y cubed over 3 plus y raised to 5 over 80a squared with limits from 0 to 2a. Evaluating the integral will give us a final answer for the volume of the solid of revolution as 16 over 15 pi a cube cubic units.